In this video, we will look at the radian, arc length, and later on, area of a sector in other videos. You will find this on page 144 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Radian, arc length, and area of a sector, arc length. In ordinary level, we learned how to work out an arc length if the sector angle is given in degrees. Then we just set the angle over the circle, 360, a point, multiply the circumference. When working in degrees, so it was x over 360, multiply, how do we work out the circumference of a circle? 2 pi r. Let us now derive the formula for the arc length when the subtended angle theta is measured in radians. So arc length equals angle at the center, okay, Angle of a complete revolution multiply circumference. So it's the angle, okay, over 2 pi, because that's now instead of the 360, multiply 2 pi radius. So look what's happening. I want to show you in red. The 2 pi's cancel out. So basically, I can just say R, the radius, multiply the angle, okay where this angle is in radians, theta is in radians. So the length of an arc is S equals the radius, the radius multiply the angle in radians. Okay. okay, let's look at the example. The diagram shows a sector AOB of radius 4 centimeter and angle AOB is pi over 5 radians. It's in radians. Find the length of the minor arch AB. Now the minor sounds like small, so that is my, and then find the length of the major. That is the major. Okay, so if I look at this, I'm first going to start by saying the length, and remember it's very easy now, you just take the radius and you multiply it with the angle which is in radians. Okay, and basically this will be this, or you can work it out if you want to work out the pi. And then the angle of, now don't forget, if this angle was, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger, that you see better. If this angle was 4 over 5, then this angle, remember a revolution is, is 2, so it's like you will say for this one, you will take 2 pi and you will subtract 1 over 5 pi. Okay. And if you do that, if you make this 1 over 5, so it's going to be 10 over 5 minus 5. So this is, or, or let me just, it's, this is easy. It's 1 and 4 over 5 pi, like we, well, like we got there. Okay. So basically, I must just first find that angle. And then after that angle, I can just multiply it again with, with the radius. And then I will just find my answer. Okay. I can work it out on the calc. I can leave it like that. Or I can work out the pi with that. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now free. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, the diagram shows a sector AOB of radius 8 and angle centimeter and angle AOB is 0 0.85 radians. Okay, find the length of the minor. Now the minor was the small one. Oh, sorry, skip that. So if I start with number A, I'm just going to say, and this is by it, so I think it's maybe good that I say length. of minor of AB, oh no, I do, AB, and that will be R theta. And what is R? Let's, it's 8 centimeters, multiply theta, it's 0 0.85. And if I press it on the calculator, I get 6.8 centimeters okay and then the next one um the length of the major arc now don't forget 
Uh, this is in radians, so I must first subtract. So if I want to start with B, I must first say angle. I must first get the angle of the major sec. And that will be 2 pi minus 0 0.85. And that will be 5. Work out this pi. So and, and first don't approximate it. Leave it unapproximated. Okay, in the radians, and then I'm going to work out the length of the major of AB, and that will then be, it's again going to be just that R times the theta, the R is still 8, and now it's just that 5.43318. I think if you approximate it to just to one or two, uh, let's say to two or three, then the answer will be exact. But for now, I think I'll just leave it on. Let's just get rid of this. Okay. And then I just press it on my calculator and I will get 40, make it to three significant figures. 43.5 centimeter, and that will be that part major. Okay, actually, very, very easy in radius.